name's Jack Nolan, I'm uh, 25 years old and I'm from Ailey Beach, North Queensland. So I grew up down south, a little place called Bellingen. Got into my fishing down there and it pretty much evolved into moving north to Northern Territory and then back down here to Ailey. Got a passion for barramundi at a pretty young age. Finished my apprenticeship as a marine mechanic and then went north to uh, chase the guiding dream, become a guide up there. Always had a passion for taking mates fishing, so kind of just turned into a career for me and worked out pretty well. Here we go. That's a better fish. Yes. <laughs> what keeps me motivated in fishing is uh, chasing different species on different techniques. So, you know, I've got a bit of a passion for fly fishing, topwater GTs, barramundi. It's just, you know, chasing those different species, different techniques, and always learning. Saltwater to me is just endless possibilities. There are so many things you can do. From, you know, barramundi, you can go out the reef, the endless species you can chase, and the ways you can target them as well. That definitely gets me going. We've got a tight little group of mates here, and we're all um, geeing each other up through the week, you know, watching the weather and hoping it's going to line up for the weekend. So, yeah, it's good, good to get out there with the fellas, and yeah, we all push each other to catch bigger and better fish. There's always banter on the boat, it um, keeps us going through when the fish aren't chewing, that's for sure. It's tiny! It's a tiny little throaty! <laughs> yeah. That's all good mates do, eh? Yeah. <laughs>I've always had a passion for chasing fish in areas that uh, don't get fished a lot. So, you know, pushing to that further reef out and finding those creeks on Google Maps and going up them hoping, you know, no one's been up there for months, is, that definitely gets me going. Yeah, the planning for a trip starts, you know, months, years in advance, you know, looking at, at maps of certain places and creeks and trying to line up tides and trying to line up when it's all gonna fish. It can start months out and then, you know, as it gets closer, you're getting the boat ready, you're getting the gear ready, you get all the tackle sorted that you, you know, you hope you're going to use on that trip. The Great Barrier Reef would be one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. And, and the fishing opportunities out there you have is just incredible. You can be chasing GTs and then drive 30 metres and you'd be jigging coral trout, nanny guy, red emperor. It's, it's definitely a special spot to me now. Every chance I get, the weather window, I'm out there. Yeah, been using pen for as long as I can remember. My um, old man used to have the old spin fishes that we used to take down the beach chasing mulloway. So, always been a believer in it. and. Um, since Penn's released a new authority, I've given it a good test the last week and it's definitely got the tick of approval. Yep. I look for in a rod and reel combo something that's going to last. And second of all, something that's going to feel nice all day. I'm pretty harsh on my gear and I fish in some pretty harsh environments. So the new Penn authority has the IPX8 water rating, which is going to make the reel last longer and in turn I'm going to catch more fish. Moving up here, GTs have definitely been on my radar. So I'm still on the hunt for a big one. But um, that's definitely what gets me excited, those big GTs coming up chasing those stick baits. GTs definitely test your gear and your body. So from the moment you hook up, it's just constant, you know, lock drag, boats in reverse, trying to pull that fish out. You've got sore back, sore legs. Back, 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 back. Good fish. GTs will test absolutely everything on you. They'll test uh, your leader knots, your hooks, your rings, everything, even your back and your legs. So having that pen authority, I know it's going to have my back every day. Yeah!